I know I have posted Sober Side before, but this is a slightly different vein. She's talking politics and she's talking about knowing exactly where people stand or people acting like they're allies and you never really know their intention, but basically them being the same. So I'm going to post her video, then I'm going to post my commentary on some of the comments that I found on the video. So go ahead and check her out. She is on TikTok. Um, she is not on YouTube. So go ahead and check out these videos. I need to have a bit of a come to Jesus moment with white liberal men because they show up in my comment sections quite a bit talking about how they're not the problem. It's Republican men that are the problem. In a lot of ways, and I've talked to a bunch of women about this, we kind of appreciate that Republican men are so outspoken about what misogynists they are because we can just straight up know we shouldn't be dating them. We don't get that luxury with liberal men. We have to figure out for ourselves exactly how full of shit they are, right? This is the thing. A lot of liberal men talk about how they're such big feminists until you date them and you realize that they're just as misogynistic as their dads were, as most Republican dudes are. That there's only about a percent or two difference between all of them. A lot of liberal men are just trying real hard to go for the nice guy trope. They're people who want to believe that they're feminists, but don't want to do any of the work to actually become a feminist. They think they like the idea of women being equals and receiving equity in the world until it comes to their own girlfriends and the way that they treat them. That's when it becomes really clear that they don't think they're the problem. They think only all the other guys are the problem, but not them because they're a liberal guy. Let me tell you something, I have never spoken, not a single liberal friend of mine who is a cishet man has ever sat down and brought up any issue regarding women's rights and all of the rights we're losing right now on their own volition. The only men who have ever done that in conversation where they're concerned and they bring it up first and they're asking me how I'm doing are gay men are people from the LGBTQIA community because they have a deep understanding of what it's like to be discriminated against. So they have compassion, they have empathy, empathy for that experience. So I'll, I'll assure any liberal man watching right now, if you think that being liberal makes you a good guy and means you're not misogynistic, you are almost certainly misogynistic. The same way that people with this skin tone have to work every single day to unpack their shmeshism, and it's daily work, and it's work that you have to do, it's mental work to constantly keep yourself in check as a person with this skin color. If you're really trying to actually become better, it is no different with men. All men are gonna need to try to unpack that shit on a daily basis. It's gonna be something that you're gonna have to get real comfortable saying, damn, that was really misogynistic of me. Jesus, I am a misogynist, so I'm gonna have to work on this every day. This isn't like you go vote for Hillary Clinton and suddenly you get the like, I'm a feminist pin and all the women stand and applaud you. This isn't how this works. This is bare minimum decency. This is stuff that you should have already been doing. No one should applaud you or pat you on the back for it, just like people with this skin tone, so yeah. Okay, so we need to have a bit of I was watching a video from the TikTok user Soberside, and she was talking about liberal men and how she actually prefers um, Republican men, and not in a way like dating, but um, she knows that they will be misogynist. She, she already knows what the deal is. But she said liberal men, they act like they are feminists. Um, they act like they are down with um, equality. And they do that until it's time to actually have some accountability and equality for women. And some of the comments were very, very telling. So this woman says, it has nothing to do with Republican or liberal. It's just men in general. They are all covert Republicans. And the next one says, honestly, it's true, even men of color to an extent. Because what is really going on? People have to be able to oppress somebody. It's literally what society is based on. We can't just have all people running around willy-nilly being equal despite having different, um, different working parts. Now, could we? We can't have people thinking that they're equal and they got different color skin tone. I mean, you got to oppress somebody. Um, this next person says, um, always so disappointing. You think more of them would understand being a minority. Um, but they are incapable of empathy, so it doesn't extend. 
this woman says, my man is a person of color and he's worried about walking around getting pew pew, but then doesn't understand why women are scared of being approached by men in public. Like, why is there a disconnect? Do they ever listen to women in our fears or what we believe or what we have seen as a threat? This next woman, yep, found this out during the 2016 primary. Just because you want socialized medicine doesn't mean that you actually like women. They really don't. The Bernie bros were terribly misogynistic as well as um, Republican men. They are just, they are the same. They just have a D behind it. So that brings me to the next comment. That's exactly what came to mind too. My ex was a Bernie bro, as progressive and misogynistic as they come. And this next moment, men don't want to do any work. It doesn't matter which one they are. It just really doesn't matter. Politics does not matter. I think a lot of them think it really isn't as bad as women make it out to because they don't listen to us. So this woman says, yep, married to one of those liberal nice guys. And just as soon as she can manage, she is getting out of it. She says she has two young kids and no job and live far away from anyone that can support me. This, it does not matter, R or D. They are doing the same thing. I'm just highlighting these things because race doesn't matter. Politics doesn't matter. Unless they are tr for true equality and equity, it doesn't matter.